Alright, what is poppin'? We're back, and I finally got the first live, I think, <laughs> post bands. Actually, yeah, for sure. It is the first one post bands. And I thought, I might as well use some of the Pokemon we voted on, right? So, I decided, hey, let's build with Specs Toxtricity. I guess I can even open up my builder. That makes it a little easier to show it, doesn't it? So, we got nice Specs Toxtricity. It's a bomb's pain to switch into, like. <laughs> In terms of consistent defensive answers, it's kind of hard to find them. I think a lot of playing around Toxtricity is just not letting it break for free. And all of the common moves you'll see it run, fortunately, do have immunities. Like, I would say some variant of this is the most common. You could see Snarl vary occasionally if someone wanted to hit, like, Rotom or Palisand for super effective damage, but I don't think it's the best option, despite being one. I think this is just general really good at punishing most things you're looking at switching in though. Even Boom Burst is doing upwards of like 40 to Spit F Rhyperior, which is I think the most common pivot into Toxtricity. Now I went with DD Choppleberry Tyrantrum with Strong Jaw. Kind of just trying this one out, but um, Choppleberry felt kind of cool to let me. What's it called? Oh yeah, Survive Mian Chao, trying to revenge kill me. Tyrantrum's physical bulk is pretty good as is, and I think. I don't know, I didn't run any calcs if I needed Chopple, but hey, doesn't matter. And we just got some Spidef Bronzong, standard affair right here. Fizdef Gastron, standard affair here. I think these two are pretty good together. It just gives me like the Psychic Resist, the Fairy Resist, the Dragon Resist. It's giving you the Water Immunity, the Volt Switch Immunity. A lot of good things. Now I wanted to go Defog Noivern here. I kind of tried this changing up the slot a lot but I ended up disliking how the last two Pokemon <laughs> were causing the defensive synergy of the team to be like ab just absolutely abhorrent so I think we are just gonna settle on Noivern here really fast Pokemon also lets me force damage on steel types which is good for Tyrantrum and even to some extent Toxtricity if I want to spam Boom Burst and we're just rounding it out with another set that I'm admittedly just gonna kind of be trying out we're just call mine for Izion yeah, of course, I guess I can remind you here, Oof. if you have not subscribed yet, please do. Again, road to 250 by the end of the year. It is possible, I promise. I just need a little bit of help from you guys. So if you're enjoying the content, well, I really don't see why you wouldn't subscribe. Because if you don't, you might just miss an upload. And honestly, that'd be kind of cringe. <laughs> that'd be really cringe. Let's see, I could join the NU room, I guess, and look at the chat while we wait for a battle. Ooh, wait, look at our clean room intro. You, you can't just take us away from Look at this, this is clean. Anyhow, opposing team. He has a couple Pokemon that I want to try out too as well. Surfetched is the big one. I, I want to use this Mon. I want to use Smugleek. <laughs> this thing was so fun to use in OU back when it was viable there. I want to use it again. <laughs> But um, he has like one of the most standard balance teams I've ever seen. I think it's just going to be like... I'll say I wouldn't be surprised if it's CB Surfetched, DD Tyrantrum. Just like standard 3 attacks, Roost, Noivern with U-Turn. And then this is just, you know, balance core pivot stuff. I'm Elite Toxtricity. He doesn't have a Volt immunity. I'm just overdriving. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's what that's that's about what I thought would happen there. All right, so let's see. Does the Teachum just beat me now? I don't think I can afford to stay in, but at the same time, I'm kind of curious. How much does this do? Toxtricity. Um, one v one choice specs. Sure, that works. I'm timid though. An entire Rantrum. So say he's scarfed. I guess we can pretend he is. Wow, that still does over half. Unfortunately, if he's Scarf, he's faster. He goes for an Earthquake. Makes me think he is Scarf. And this is... I I can Scald here. Yeah. Zonger's the most likely response from him. And I don't see much of a reason to go for <laughs> um, Toxic anyway, predicting Tyne. I don't need to. So I can go my own Zong here and go for Rocks. I could also just go out to Toxtricity and hope he's not Earthquake, but he might have Earthquake. I'm going to make this really aggressive play, but I'm going to do it to Volt. 
If he doesn't protect, then he might be two attacks. I thought maybe two attacks could be cool on this. Earthquake helps Zong check Tyrantrum as well a little bit better, because I don't think Heavy Slam does a lot to it. He goes Teachrum. I Immaculate Bolt. I honestly think he might just be Scarf. Hmm. I I'm rocking up. I don't care. Be Scarf. Be Scarf. I don't care. You can be Scarf all you want. Fizdef Zonger would not be bad either, I think, in this meta. Just because Teachrum is kind of scary. But I like Spadef. We have a lot more Dragon types in the tier now that I think are just scarier Draco spammers. And they go for CC. Oh, that is a Scarf Tyrantrum and a half. Wow. Ah, yes. Nice 40 power. Yeah, that's, that's real good. Help. I mean... I need this at more health, don't I? How much would EQ do to my Gastro? 26? This is not too shouting. I'll go for a Toxic here. If we trade Toxics, it's not the worst thing. He could be Heal Bell Sylveon, but I'm not overly concerned about that. As he just goes back to the Bronzong. This gives me Toxtricity. It actually gives me my own Bronzong. We can just scout versus his guy. I kind of just want to get my Toxtricity in though, you know? The problem is I can't really do a whole lot <laughs> versus this. What if I just go back out to this to make him waste more power points, but then go right back into my Bronzong, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay, I've been trying to scout for the Toxic. I think if anything, what I should have done is gone Gastro and then pivoted to Toxtricity because then I get an Overdrive off. <laughs> As we saw, it's doing a lot to this T-Drum. Goes for another Toxic there. I think now he'll Gyro. He just clicks Toxic four times in a row. Wow, that's so cringe. You are so cringe, bro. Yeah, I'm just recovering. <laughs> I don't care. And I'm going to go Toxtricity. Yeah, this is this is just a free overdrive. He hard Tyrantrum the last time. I don't think he'll do that again, though. And if, I mean, if he does, okay. Uh, gone? Hello? I forgot. <laughs> I forgot this does damage. Ooh, I forgot this. That was doing, like, over half. Also, I'm going to pause this real quick and be right back. All right, we're back. Sorry, sorry for that short little delay in the video, which you won't be able to really tell happened, but you know what? Still gotta apologize. So, yeah, the previous turn I just switched this into a Draco. Oh, and now he's gonna give me free recovery back on my Zonger. Oh, we love this. We this is like the ideal sequence right here, because right here, realistically, what am I trying to do? I just want I just want to recover health. And pretty much stall this thing out of power points. Because that's something I can do. Hmm. You would switch Mantine in, if anything, but I don't... I don't know if that's overly helpful for you. <laughs> Are we just going to give me my thing back to full health? Oh, I'm okay with that. Oh, I'm very okay with that. Is he just going to go for Toxic forever? I will get my Bronzong back to full. Full. Oh, I will let Zong go all the way back to full, buddy. Don't mistake that. Or don't get things... <laughs> don't get your shit mistaken, buddy. I'm gonna go talk to your city now, though. Actually, no. Nah. That's too obvious. We got we got a heavy, we got a heavy slam once. Right? Just to, make, just to make him think. Put him on his toes. And there we go. So we're obviously just gonna start spamming overdrive again. <laughs> Yeah, this is why I think you always want uh, electric immunity on your teams. I mean, in, in you, it's especially the case, because I don't think you could afford to let this mon spam out overdrives. Yep, there goes that. <laughs> Good night. Good night, Mantide. You deserve a nice rest. I feel like, okay, I was about to say, I feel like there, if he had continued the battle, he would have gone Noivern and then gone for Flamethrower. And you bet your ass, I was 1,000% staying in. 
Alright, let's get another one. I think Toxtricity put in some insane work. Oh, and he can get... Yo, Toxtricity's got another really solid matchup here. Now, my opponent does have just a generically bulky Mon right here. So, he's got a stop. And by a stop, I mean he's got a Mon that can actually take a hit. But I don't think it'll be that bad. I'm staying in and Volt Switching. I really hope he goes for um an attack here. Why don't I have Auto Timer turned on? Hello? Oh, well I do. It just didn't turn on. Oh, he was Life Orb, and I just Oko turned one. Cool. Um, looking at my switch ends, I think Zonger is really free here. I mean, what does he do to Bronzong if it comes out? I, I don't. I don't see the. Pe I don't see the play. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of. That's kind of what I was thinking was gonna happen. Bronzong kind of walled my man's team pretty poorly. Or not. Not pretty poorly. Pretty well. Oh, and now we're queuing into. Pre-tier shifts stall. I, I see. Okay. Well, again, I look at Toxtricity and I go, damn, this is a matchup. Um, unfortunately, he's got the Quag. And Quag kind of just shits all over my Tyrantrum. Verizion can maybe be impactful this game, but I'd have to somehow get Chip on this. Hmm. I mean, he could just lead Dinjask. I'll lead Zong. As he leads with Pharaseed. The one good thing about this game is I'm pretty sure Toxtricity 2 KOs his entire team. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know if anything takes two Boom Bursts. I'm curious. So, Pharaseed. What if he's just Fizz Def Pharaseed? Toxtricity. Okay, well, if he's Fizz Def Pharaseed, he's still taking these hits really well. I'm surprised. What? Oh, that's actually a lot of damage. Never mind. He ain't taking shit well. <laughs> He is not taking anything well. Okay. So I'm guessing what's going to happen here, though, is he's going to set up spikes or something, right? Man, why, why are we rocking stall, man? Come on! I'm trying to have fun, and you're trying to just bore people to death? Absolute snooze fest here. Um, I'm doubling right into Toxtricity here. Oh, I see. He's one of these guys. Okay. Well, fortunately, he is letting me hit the Pharaoh Seed. So, Leech will do... Let's see. I can actually Boom Burst again. Yeah. I just need Toxtricity to, like, get through his team. Like this. This, this works, right? Like, I'm fine with that trade. And he does go for that. Like, is this not a winning trade for me? <laughs> you know? Um, he's gonna U turn into Duraladon here. Um. Hmm. He actually does that. Okay. I'll go for Flamethrower here. I also really don't mind defogging, but I don't want the Ninjask randomly sword stancing in front of me. Yeah, that actually did good, Chub. <laughs> yeah, let me just let me just get rid of those real quick. You you didn't you didn't need all the spikes up front, I promise. He also had his Duraludon. Now, again, I'm really worried about this Mon. Yeah. Can you get my Verizion out though. <sighs> you know, I, I didn't want to hit that anyway. He could sword stance here. I'm a little worried about that. Yeah. And imagine if I had just KO'd that there. That would have been so cool. Fortunately, I get some justice. I get the Scald Bird on Ninjask. Oh, yes. All right, good. Always recover here. I'm so shocked that he actually attacked there. I don't know why I am, but I am. Hmm. Rocks are actually kind of worthless for me this game. I also think Noivern might wall this to some degree. Hmm. 
Yo, what is this thing said? What? This is no set. This is not... No, this isn't good. Are you mono knock? I honestly can't tell. We do get this play right. He's just gonna sack the Jask here. Right? I feel like since he's gonna sack the Jask, I just switch back out. Wait, he didn't. He went nine tail or not nine tails, he went dash. That's kind of a weird play in my eyes, because I feel like you can just sack. My god, you are such a a word that I will not say. Yeah, and he's just staying in now. Yo, bro, you wanna just uninstall PS, please? <laughs> oh my god, why are you using this just boring team? Don't you have something better to do with your life? Ah! <laughs> I still don't understand why this thing's gone for knock on some. No, he's, he has Moonblast, okay. Oh, you know what? This could be Rock's Dura. Um, we're gonna heavy slam here. He did not get greedy, unfortunately. Oh, and he is Draco. Okay, so he's just He's just no stealth rock. <laughs> Wait, he's just not stealth rock! Why? That's so bad. Um, if Veriz comes out, he's gonna sack Jask. Or he doesn't even have to. But I'm going to Veriz and I'm gonna Giga Drain. Can you stop making these plays? Okay, well that just dropped. Wow. He's gonna U here, so... I go T-Trum, that draws in Quag. Hmm. I could also go into this. I hate how this Ninjask is still allowed to do anything, though. Hmm. That actually KO'd. And the horrible part, too, is even if I go to Tyrantrum to Dragon Dance, it doesn't do anything for me. He's just willing to sack his entire team. Like, why? I don't understand. It's like, yeah, sure, you're winning 50-50s, but these are some of the most pointless 50-50s you could be winning. It doesn't make any sense, I feel, to make these plays. I mean, I guess if you know what's gonna happen and you make the play. I cannot fucking hit a single one of those. I can't hit a single Focus Blast. Alright, well, Tyrantrum, can you somehow win this game? Oh, that didn't even KO. Fuck you. <laughs> yeah, guys, team was so boring, man. Why are we rocking with pre-shift stall and why does it still work? Oh, my lord. Not gonna lie, that dude did outplay a lot of those turns, so. I mean, there's that. I just don't know why he bothered making the plays. It's like, you have sacks and you're not using them. Why keep it around, man? You get protected on once by something and the Jask just dies. Anyhow, we move on. Where is, am I rank wise? Okay, I don't think it's taking into account that loss, but so long as we're in the 1400s, I'll take some solace in being an okay player, right? So this game, this could test um, Choppleberry. He's got the Shao. Um, but if I want t -Trum to do anything, I have to get rid of the Sandaconda, which I can probably force Chip on with Xiao. Hmm. I'm gonna lead Noivern here. Yeah. This lets us see if his Magneton's Scarf or not, which is cool. What I'm hoping it does is I'm hoping he goes Sandaconda and just lets me get a whole bunch of damage on it. Like, that, that would be ideal. That would be great. <laughs> um, I want this thing gone. I want the Tyrantrum sweep, please. Give me these Tyrantrum sweep, please. I need. I really need it. What's the point of using this team if it's doing nothing? 
Anyhow, I think we'll figure something out this game. I have faith. Okay, so I think every persistent battle setting other than invite only is just broken right now. Right? Open new battles on the right side. I don't know what that means. Actually, no, I think it means if I'm out like here, the battle's over here instead, which is just kind of weird. Alright, I don't know why it took my opponent that long to switch to an Articuno. He's U-turn. Is he like Specs then? I mean, he trapped me. So. He did it. Oh. I see. Oh. I see. <laughs> well. My opponent's the better player, it would appear. That's a shame. I mean, what was I supposed to do? Oh. I see. Well. My opponent is a very good player. I could have got Gastron for free, right? But like, why is he staying in? You could you could have just kept Magneton around, I guess. I mean, it does, yeah, Gastron around doesn't do anything. Oh wow, that was tragic because now I don't even get rocks. <laughs> I think I just lose here. Yeah, I think I just lose. That's really tough. I mean, I don't see how I'm supposed to win from this state. Yeah, that's actually horribly tough for me. Because rocks would have meant that this can't just come out and set up. Wow. Um, do you somehow live a hit? You shouldn't. Can you somehow make my opponent scared enough to switch? Alright, well, this was a... T Wow, that was a terrible game. All right. The stall game, at least my opponent, like, again, despite me disagreeing with the plays they were making, they were still predicting, I think. And there's that. That game, my opponent just got bailed. Anyhow, now we're up against more stall. Well, why? Please. Why am I up against stall every game? This meta still do. <laughs> Build something else, you jackasses. God damn it. Like, why? I can't sweep with DD Tyrantra, but these motherfuckers keep bringing their stupid ass quagsires, man. Come on. Why are you, Why do you all hate fun? See, Ambarizion's a demon this game. I need to get past the Galar, bro. If I can manage that, though, then we're in a decent spot. And I'm gonna do what I've done pretty much every game prior and lead with this. I'm also going to hard Noivern here. So they want to go Palisand on that play. Okay, okay. Oh my god, you're such a virgin. Holy shit. I hate these players. I won't say anything. I, I I don't know. Well, we're one in three this live, huh? Do we reevaluate the team? Do do we have to look at the team and start questioning where it's at? Because I clearly don't have a stall matchup. I mean, shit. What's what's the stall issue? Where where are we coming? Where are we crumbling? How is it that we're struggling so much with stall? Like, what do we not have that we need to break stall? Because right now, it's very evident to me that this team is going to plateau if we just queue into stall repeatedly. Like, I can't beat it. I don't have a way to break it. Or I do, and I'm just not seeing it. It could just be that the Tyrantrum sets the issue. Because it's, well, it's obviously an issue. Um... Tyrantrum quite literally just does not have a matchup against Stall. I can't do anything with it. If I were, um, Rockhead, I'd be a little bit more useful, but even then, Palace and just kind of walls. I don't know, Strongjaw Crunch sounds kind of cool. That's really the only reason that I'm using it, if we're being honest. <laughs> I just want to try it because a lot of mons that want to check Tyrantrum don't like Crunch, so I may as well boost it further. I've got, 
It's not like I don't have Toxic on multiple Pokemon, even then, any good stall is gonna have a Cleric. Because they won't let you spam um, their team with Toxic. Is it the Verizion slot? I had this as a Dark Resist. Originally, I think it was a Celebi or something. I said, no, I need this to be something that can at least have asked check Zoroark. <laughs> Which I'm very shocked to have seen so little of. I think this mod is really, 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 really good. Huh. I don't... I don't know. I don't see it. I don't see the obvious improvement. It could be that it needs to be multiple Pokemon. We're gonna end the live there! Wow! That was horrible! Um... I'll, I'll at least give myself that in game three, that was an absolutely abhorrent sequence that my opponent got with their Magneton versus my Bronzong. And that I lost, I think, solely because I couldn't get rocks up. Had we had rocks, the Frostmoth doesn't sweep. The two stall losses are just kind of tough. Again, I think game two, while I disagree with my opponent's plays, like a lot of them, at the end of the day, they worked, and they weren't outside of the realm of, like, possible plays. So, I probably could have done better if I had just considered my opponent making those plays. Especially after they made them the first, you know, few times. <laughs> Gotta adapt your opponent. Um, next live, we'll win more games. And I'll probably try to work out this team a little bit more, because I don't dislike the core that I've got going on. I like these two together. And now, yeah. oof. I hope you enjoy your day more than I'm enjoying mine so far. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. Peace.